This video is sponsored by Soccer Star Shop, the best place to get yourself the latest football boots and kits for ridiculously cheap prices. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 5% off on your purchase. This could be his chance to score. Here's Yannick Carrasco going to cut inside. Carrasco with the shot. Yannick Carrasco with the goal. This time he does score. We are going to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. That was a very nice finish. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to season 2, episode number 14 of the Leicester City Career Mode series. In today's episode, we've got some pretty big games Juventus in the Champions League squad finals and also some important Premier League games. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. As usual, 100 likes is the goal for today and make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. Before anything else guys, I wanted to wish y'all a happy new year. Hopefully 2017 will be an amazing year for you guys. Personally guys, one of my goals in 2017 is to get this channel to 30,000 subscribers. Hopefully with the help of you guys, I will be able to achieve that. Now guys, let's have a look at the league table. As you can see, 27 games into the season, we've got 53 points, which is actually pretty decent. In second place are Everton with 47 points. We are doing really well in the Premier League right now. Definitely front runners to win the competition, which I think is amazing. Apart from the Juventus games, we've got Middlesbrough, which I think we will be simming as it is a home game. Then Brighton as well, who are in the relegation zone, so I reckon we'll be simming this one as well. Norwich away from home could be a tricky one, might actually play this game, depending on what happens in the previous two games. We've got Hull City as well, and then the main one, guys, Juventus. So a lot of games to get through in today's episode. I think I'm going to be playing about four games in today's episode and simming the rest. So hopefully, guys, we can get through Juventus and also get some good results in the Premier League. Really excited to see how we do in the Champions League, guys. What are your predictions for this Juventus tie, guys? Drop them down in the comment section below. Do you guys think we've got enough to get through Juventus? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, guys, before we get into those games, guys, it is now time for a press conference. We've only got one question for today and it's regarding the future of this series. Are you doing a third season? To be honest guys, I won't be doing a third season with Leicester City. I think this season 2 is going to be the final one. I want to start a new career mode. I've got some amazing ideas. Besides that, I want to include Facecam in the upcoming career mode series. Hence, I want to start a new career mode of course. And I think really it could well be my best series on YouTube. Besides that, we might just actually do a third season. But I'll instead live stream it on YouTube. Just like I'm doing it with the Juventus career mode. I think that will be a lot of fun. Let me know guys if you guys want to see the season 3 of this Leicester City career mode live streamed here and of course to know when I'm streaming and all such stuff you guys can follow me on Twitter if you guys have any other press conference questions drop them down in the comments section below and now let's get into our first game of this episode we are simming this game against Middlesbrough right now and Mahrez has scored the first goal for us. Let's skip to the end and see what happens. And it's a 3-0 win for us. Riyad Mahrez with the hat-trick. Not bad at all. I've just gone ahead and simmed this game against Brighton who are bottom of the league and we have absolutely destroyed them. 4 goals to 1. Goals coming from Usman, Dembele, Amati, Drinkwater and Trippier. A very good result indeed. Unfortunately, Michael Keane's injury is pretty serious and he's going to be out for about 6 weeks with a torn hamstring. Luckily, we've got good squad depth and I don't think this injury will affect us that much. With those 2 victories, guys, we are now 7 points ahead of Arsenal, which is just brilliant. And our upcoming games are against Norwich and Hull City. I reckon we should get victories against them. To be honest, guys, our fixtures now aren't that difficult. We're already done with the tough fixtures. And we've already gotten good results in those games, hence we are in such a good position. Like, only the tough teams we've got left are Everton, Spurs and, well, that's it probably. Yeah, West Ham maybe, but only Everton and Spurs. I think from this position, guys, we should be winning the league. Now let's go ahead and sim this game against Norwich. I just want to get as fast as I can to that Juventus game. Really excited to play Juventus. I know this is an away game, but with my first team, I believe we should be able to beat them. We just managed to beat Norwich guys, a 2-1 victory, Damira Gray and Saponara the goal scorers. Saponara actually scored the goal in the first minute, so a very good start we had in this game. Lucky to win 2-1, an 87th minute winner from Damira Gray got us all 3 points against Norwich. 
Our next game in the Premier League is against Hull City and they are not doing that well in the Premier League. They are in fact near the relegation zone. Hence we will be simming this game. I reckon even with my second team we should be able to beat them. After that we of course got Juventus the massive game. Then we'll be playing Watford as they aren't doing well in the Premier League and it's an away game so it could be a tricky one. We'll round the episode off by playing the second leg of this Juventus tie. Let's now go ahead and sim the game against Hull City and hopefully get 3 points again. We've got another first minute goal, this time coming from Danny Drinkwater. Can we make it 4 wins out of 4? Let's skip to the end and see what happens. Unfortunately, Dembele gets himself an injury. Hopefully it's not serious. Oh no, we get a draw from this one. It's not grass with the equaliser. This is pretty bad news guys. Usman Dembele has suffered a broken toe and will be out for 6 weeks. That is bad guys, we are losing out a lot of key squad players in this crucial time of the season. You know, we've got all the big Champions League games, tough Premier League games coming up. We've got actually Spurs and Everton coming up soon. These injuries are not helping at all. Even with all those injuries guys, we are 6 points ahead of Arsenal, 8 ahead of Manchester United. Things are going well for us, just 7 games left in the Premier League. Hopefully we can lift the title, but the big question now is, can we get to the semi-finals of the Champions League? We are now going to be facing Juventus, hopefully we can get a good result and this one's away from home, so an away goal will be crucial. This is the first team I've chosen for probably our biggest game of the season. Mares starting this one, Carrasco as well. It is a very strong team guys, I'm eager to find out what team Juventus have got, but this game is going to be lit. Juventus' team looks very strong, they're going with three at the back, Davin Alaba, one of the three centre-backs, not bad guys, they've got a very nice squad, a very strong midfield indeed, but our team is pretty good as well, I'm actually confident about this game, if we can get, you know, potentially a 1-0 win or maybe even a 2-0 win, that could be big for this tie. Here's Musa taking on all defenders, gets past a couple of them, takes the shot and he scores. What a goal from Emad Musa in this crucial Champions League quarterfinals tie against Juventus of all teams. He just went past a couple of plays like they weren't even there, slots the ball home, no chance the keeper is saving that. That was just brilliant from Emad Musa. Juventus looking to attack, Miralem Pjanic loses out to Sapanara. Sapanara playing it out wide into Yannick Carrasco, I see Mares up there. Mahrez has made a good run, now Mahrez cutting inside, ball played through into Musa. what can Musa do, oh Musa couldn't get there and Coutoir does collect it, we are attacking very well in this game, it's definitely been our game so far, Kadida holding on to the ball well, finding Marquisio, Stones gets it off him, now maybe a chance for us on the counter, here's Sapanara, out wide into Riyad Mahrez, let's see what Mahrez can produce from this, does well, keeps hold of the ball, finds Musa. Musa into Axel Witzel, Witzel with the shot, Coutoir with the save, Witzel, oh he couldn't head it down and Kingsley Coleman does clear it. The first half has come to an end and it has been one hell of a half for us. We've definitely been the better side. 1-0 to Leicester City, goal coming from Musa. We could have easily made it 2 goals nil. Hopefully we can keep up this performance in the second half and maybe even get that second away goal. Let's see what we can produce from this corner. It's going to be taken by Anik Carrasco. Decent corner. The header from Stones is above the crossbar. We're getting so many chances but we aren't scoring. That could cost us in the second leg. Hopefully we can get the second goal before this game does come to an end. We've now got another corner. Let's see what we can create from this one. It's a decent corner. Musa with the header. It hits the crossbar. Ball played through into Alaba. Big chance for Juventus to score and they've hit the post in the dying moments of this game. Pjanic now on the ball. Takes the shot. And of course it's been blocked by Lemos. There you go guys, the game has come to an end. A 1-0 win for us against Juventus. To be honest, Juventus could have equalized in the 90th minute because they had a good chance that Alaba's shot did hit the post. But to be fair, we actually had a ton of chances and we probably should have made a 2-0 or 3-0. We were definitely the better side. We deserved the victory. Hopefully in the second leg guys, we can get the job done. That was one hell of a result for us against Juventus. Hopefully we can get the job done in the second leg. For now, we are going to be facing Watford in the Premier League. Another Premier League game. Hopefully, we can win it, guys, and get closer to winning the Premier League title. Before that, let's actually have a look at the top scorers of the Premier League. As you can see, Coutinho, top scorer of the Premier League with 14 goals. Mahrez in takes second place with 13 goals. That is not bad. We've got Leroy Fer, top assister of the Premier League with 8 assists. Do we have any Leicester City player? We've got Musa in there with 4 assists. We've actually got Mahrez in 12th place with 5 assists as well which is decent let's now play this game against Watford and get a good result 
With Usman Dembele out injured, this is a massive opportunity for Declan Davis, our top youth prospect. Let's see how he fares against Watford. This one's an away game, but I reckon with this team, we should be able to secure all three points. Into Jamie Vardy. Vardy's in a very good position. Puts it into Alan Halilovic, who finds Danny Lamati. And Marty with a shot, but his shot is very poor. I mean, from that position, he should be smashing the ball into the back of the net. A poor attempt from Danny Lamati. Gray does well. Gray trying to finesse that one just above the crossbar. Great trickery from Gray to get in that position. The shot wasn't perfect, but a good attempt from him. Cleared out to Gray. Chance for us on the counter. Let's go to Myra Gray on the ball. Here's Gray using that pace into Jamie Vardy now. Vardy taking it inside. Still Jamie Vardy. Vardy's gone through. Jamie Vardy with the shot. The keeper makes the save. That was a very good run from Vardy. He should have finished it after getting into such a good position. Now Luis Hernandez into Amati. Now into Jamie Vardy. Big chance for Vardy to score. Vardy with the shot and Jamie Vardy with the goal. We finally scored in this game. Daniel Amati gets himself an assist for that one. I'm pretty sure that was Amati, was it? Yeah, I think it was Amati. Vardy there with a very nice finish. Right foot. Keeper had no chance. 1-0 against Watford. Here's one Fran. Putting in a cross. The header from Peña Renda is superb. And he scored. What a goal from Watford. To be honest, that header was one of the best I've seen on FIFA. Ball played through into Peña Renda and we could concede. Now Peña Renda with the shot. It hits the post and goes down for a goal kick. Peña Renda is on fire. That's it guys, the game has come to an end and what a game it was. Watford could have easily won this game towards the end. We could have actually made it 2-0 early on. But of course after that Peña Renza header, the game was just so open. But to be honest, I'll take a 1-0 result against Watford because they actually had a really good game in this one. Even after that draw in the Premier League, we are still in a very comfortable position. Six points ahead of Arsenal. Again, no team is capitalizing on us dropping points, which is very weird, but I'm not complaining. It'll make it easier for us to actually go ahead and win the Premier League. The next game, guys, is potentially the biggest of this series. A Champions League quarterfinal against Juventus. We've got a 1-0 advantage. This is a chance for us to get into the semi-finals of this competition. Let's actually have a look at the teams that we could be potentially facing in the semi-finals if we do actually qualify. So we could be facing Manchester City. City, maybe Barcelona or Real Madrid depending on who qualifies we've got Man United and Bayern Munich as well but it's just going to be insane in fact just being in the semi-finals of the Champions League with Leicester City will just be emotional and amazing so now we are going to be facing Juventus guys a massive game let's win this one and get into the semi-finals this is the team that I'm going for for this Juventus game. It's pretty much the same team I fielded against them in the previous game. But apart from Luis Hernandez coming in for John Stones, John Stones isn't fully fit for this one. Because of Michael Keane's injury, we've got a bit of fitness problems in that centre-back position. But Luis Hernandez and Lemos is a decent centre-back partnership. Let's see what happens in this game. This is the Juventus 11 for this one. I can't see many changes from the team they actually fielded in the previous game. So again, it's going to be a tough and competitive game. Hopefully we can seal it, guys. I'm so excited for this one. Let's get into the semi-finals of the Champions League. Juventus have been really aggressive and are trying to get back in this game as quickly as possible. Here's Higuain. Higuain with the shot. He hits the post. Wow, that was so close, guys, for Juventus to getting the equaliser. That was probably the worst corner you'll ever see. And now from that corner, we could score. Musa using his pace. Cutting inside. I see Sapunara through on goal. He's low on stamina. He should score from this. Sapunara with the shot. What's he done there? Oh, we've been given a penalty. I'm not sure if it was a penalty or not. But we've been given it. It's a chance for us to make it 2-0 on aggregate against Juventus Alaba. The one who put the foul that was into penalty or was it? I'm not sure. You guys can let me know down in the comment section. It's going to be taken by Mares. Let's see if we can convert this into a goal. Come on, Mares. I'm going to go top left. Mares with the penalty and he scores. That wasn't top left at all. Doesn't matter really. 1 0 to Leicester in this game. 2 0 on aggregate. Juventus have been really attacking in this game and because of that, we are able to hit them on the counter. Now they have a chance. Higuain into Pjanic. Into Higuain again, Higuain with the shot and this time Kasper Schmeichel comes up with a massive save. We've got another chance on the counter, it's Emad Musa with his pace. Musa cutting inside, can he score? Musa with the shot and Courtois makes the save. Another good save from Courtois, we should have scored from that chance. 
It's half time guys and we are leading one goal to nil and of course two nil on aggregate. Have a look at the match stats as well. Six shots from both the teams but we've got five on target and they've got three. Most importantly I mean look at this possession man we've barely had the ball. We've been just playing on the counter. Juventus have been playing all the possession play and they have been unlucky and hence they haven't scored but we are committing a lot of fouls and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a red card in this game. Hopefully that won't happen and hopefully we'll be able to seal this result in this second half. We've given the ball away to Mandzukic now to Sturaro who takes the shot. A big save there from Kasper Schmeichel. A bad defensive mistake from us. Luckily it didn't lead to a goal. Juventus have got another corner. It's going to be taken short. Schmeichel pushes it out to Sturaro who takes the shot. What is happening inside the box? Come on, someone clear it. Luckily Schmeichel gets there. Juventus are literally playing on ultra attacking and it has been very difficult for us to contain them. They are creating a lot of chances but they have been very unlucky and maybe that's the reason we could win this game. Maybe Musa could score now and end this tie. Musa with the shot. Musa with this goal. Musa probably ends this tie. 2-0 now to Leicester City. 3-0 on aggregate. What a result man, we've literally played on the counter a minute ago, they were having a chance to score but then Axel Witzel finds Musa and Musa buries the ball into the back of the net, 3-0 on aggregate now. Alaba, Alaba with the shot and he scores, wow that was a cracking effort from Alaba and finally Juventus have scored but is it too late now for them to mount a comeback? Yes guys, it's done. We are now in the semi-finals of the Champions League. How insane is that? We are just three games away from being the champions of Europe. Now, I don't anticipate us on winning the Champions League. But just imagine guys, in our second season, winning the Champions League. Absolutely insane. So eager to find out who we'll be facing in the semi-finals. You know what guys, let's find out now who we'll be facing in the semis of the Champions League. Well guys, the draw for the semi-finals has been made and we've been drawn with Manchester City. To be honest, I'm happy. Manchester City is of course a Premier League team, hence we have a bit of experience playing them. We've actually beaten them multiple times and of course we avoided Real Madrid and Bayern Munich who would be really tough over two legs. I really think we have a good chance of now getting into the finals and in the finals as it's just one game anything could happen. I honestly think guys that it's a very good draw but that is pretty much it for today's episode guys. Next episode we've got some interesting games Everton and Spurs in the Premier League. We'll have Newcastle United as well. Apart from that Manchester City of course, so the big game guys, the semi-finals of the Champions League. How insane is that guys, playing the semi-finals in the Champions League with Leicester City. Absolutely ridiculous. Before we end this episode guys, it is now time to find out who our player of the episode is. Player of the episode undoubtedly today is Emad Musa for scoring those crucial goals against Juventus. He got an average rating of 8.6 and hence deservedly guys is your player of the episode. Our manager rating right now is 79 and I can't believe how it's so low. We are doing so well right now. Of course Champions League semi-finals. We are very close to winning the Premier League title as well and still this manager rating is 79. I honestly don't know how this works but well it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at our finances before we end this episode. 42 million in profits this season. That could well increase a lot if we do actually manage to get ourselves the Champions League trophy. I mean, that's a long shot, guys, but it is a possibility. Earnings 227.77 million. Expenses 184.90 million. It's not bad at all. Our budget is pretty low right now, but that doesn't matter, does it, right now as the transfer window is over. But that, guys, is pretty much it for today's episode. We're nearing the business end of the season. A ton of important games. The Premier League could actually be wrapped up in the next episode itself if we do get results against Everton and Spurs. But anyways, guys, next episode is going to be awesome. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like on this video. As always, 100 likes is the goal for today. Make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 career mode content. And I will see you guys very soon with another career mode episode.